So today we're going to do fraction estimation with benchmarks. So again, we're not finding the exact answer when we're adding and subtracting these fractions, um, but we're using what we know about fractions to place them on a number line and to answer some questions about them. Okay, so our first one says, place an X to show the sum, remember sum means an addition, answer to an addition problem, of 4 twelfths and 3 twelfths. Okay, so I'm going to do 4 twelfths and 3 twelfths over here. And we know that they've got the same denominator, so I'm adding 4 pieces plus 3 pieces to give me 7 pieces, and they're all the same size. So my denominator is going to stay the same. So when I'm looking at that number 7 twelfths, I'm going to place it really close to the half. And the reason I say that is because 6 twelfths is the same as 1 half, right? Because if I have 12 pieces and I have 6 of them, I have 1 half. And I have 7 twelfths. So I'm going to place my x just right above 1 half. So I'm going to place it right there. So now I have some questions to answer. Is the sum closer to 0 or 1? Okay, well, I know that my fraction is a little bit more than 1 half, so I'm going to be closer to 1. And you can use the number line to see, like I can check it right there, or I can come over here and look at my work and see that the fraction is actually bigger than a half, so it has to be closer to 1. Let me circle 1. The next question says, is the sum closer to 1 half or 1? And if I look at my x, I can see that I'm closer to 1 half, okay, because that can help me with my answer. I can also see that, well, I have 7 twelfths and 6 twelfths is 1 half. So I'm really close. I'm just 1 twelfth away. So my answer, I am closer to 1 half. All right, I have just two more problems to practice here answering some questions. And again, remember, we're using estimation to solve these problems. Is 12 thirteenths plus 7 eighths closer to 1 or 2? And so when I look at those fractions here, 12 thirteenths, that is really close. I am almost to 1. If I have one more thirteenth, just one plus one thirteenth, I am almost at one whole. So I'm going to say that that's about one. And then when I look at seven eighths, if I add one more eighth to make it eight eighths, I'm almost, again, really close to one. So if I were to add those two together, I would see that I am really close to two. So I'm going to circle two. I'm closer to two than to one. All right, one more problem. Is one half minus seven seventeenths closer to one half or zero? Okay, so I'm gonna keep one half because that's a fraction that I am able to use really easily. And then I have seven seventeenths. So I need to find out what is that fraction really similar to? So I need to know what is about half of 17? Well, if I, use, if I made it six, sorry, if I made it 16, Half of 16 is 8. So when I'm kind of looking at as that as the, like a benchmark 8 sixteenths, and I have 7 seventeenths, that's going to be really similar. So I'm going to say 7 seventeenths is really close to 1 half. That's really close. So if I were to subtract 1 half minus 1 half, that's going to give me 0. So I'm going to say that my answer is closer to 0 than to 1 half. Also, keep in mind, you started with 1 half, and then you are subtracting a number, so you're going to automatically be less than 1 half as well. And here's your lesson practice. You only have one. Is 18 nineteenths plus 23 twelfths closer to 2 or 3? And then make sure you answer, how do you know, and be ready to explain.